Wow, guys, this is such an insanely great kiln. Um, I wanted, oh geez, board's falling. <laughs> I wanted to show you the whole kiln instead of just the um, salt cellars because although they're so cute, um, I'm in love with everything that happened here. <laughs> so I also made these cute bowls. They're flat bottom bowls, really simple. I'm visualizing them as like common people bowls, like peasant bowls. <laughs> this is what I'm kind of in my head right now, uh, thinking about them. Um, I have one with this nice white and green rim. And then I also have blue rim. Love the little drip. So uh, I need to make, I need to bring this up. So glaze chemistry is so crazy. This glaze is the same as this blue. So these are the exact same blues, but they're not at all, right? This blue is layered over white, so it's showing up different, but it's not even just like lighter. It's like a completely different quality. It's crazy, crazy stuff. So my spoons turned out awesome. I'm gonna give them, I sanded them. Well, you saw, you saw that I sanded them. Um, and I'm gonna give them another sand just so that they're super buttery smooth because they're not glazed. Um, it's really hard to glaze spoons. So I just decided to leave them like so. Ah, they're super hot still. My partner was saying they kind of look like tongues or like cigars. I'm curious how they look when they're actually having salt in because they won't be sitting so like loosely in here. There's gonna be like some stuff on the inside, but we'll see. Oh, and then I also wanted to show you, I did all of these amazing experience experiments. So this is a new uh, glaze that my friend gave me the recipe for. And I'm so happy because, I mean, I, I need to sieve it but um, the glaze worked perfectly the first time, which I feel like never happens. That's so cool. Um, yeah, I don't know why she gave me her exact recipe, but I always feel like, I don't know, kilns fire differently. So you need to um, always make adjustments. And then I've made some grog. So if you saw, I had a video a little while back that I showed you about grog and how to use grog. I've been experimenting with all sorts of additives to clay, but that really inspired me to make my own grog. And so I have a little bit of like different colored grog in here. So this one's red and this one's like, like gray blue. Peanut sparking. This one's a gray blue. And then I have them in different consistencies. So I think this is a really cool, I really like this one. It's just like really subtle. I don't know if it's coming off. It's the lighting's not ideal in here because it's nighttime, but yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye friends.